Yeah, yeah. What up, YouTube? YouTube. What up? Nick Dio coming at ya from AI House Malaysia. This 13 over channel design for interior designers and contractors. Alright, man, in this video, I'll be showing all of you how to draw a tatami bedroom. And without further ado, let's hop right into the design. Alright, so firstly, I would like to start by drawing my layout. Alright, so I'm going to use this rectangle wall and for each side, I'm going to put 5000 by 5000. Once I'm done drawing, this is for my room. I'm going to use the draw wall function to manually draw another 1005 for my exterior. Okay. So this should be my exterior. So for my exterior, I'm going to click on the wall and I'm going to change it to a half wall. All right, so I'm going to change the height to 900. So I'm going to do this for all three sides of my exterior wall. All right. And when I go into my 3D, it will look something just like that. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to hide my cornice and skirting first. Okay, so before we start building in, we can click into our 2D and start putting in our single door. All right, just right over here. And then we can start putting in a sliding door. Okay, so I'm just going to click on my sliding door and click on the center. Okay, so when I go into my 3D, it will look something like that. Alright, so this is my room and this is the exterior. Okay, so now I've put in my doors and windows. We can start creating the tatami bedroom. Alright, so I'm going to use the customization function and I'm going to click on the system cabinet function. Alright, so we're gonna start by building the back panel first. Okay, so for the back panel, we are going to use superboard. Alright, so for this design, we are going to use a lot of superboard. Okay, so just drag one superboard out. Alright, so for the width, I'm gonna change it to 5000. Alright, and then for the depth, I'm going to change it to 75. Okay, and for the height, 900 all right so now i'm going to position it okay so zero all right 75 for the depth which is the thickness all right so this is going to be the back panel of my bait all right right now we have the back panel we can start building the bait frame okay so the leg of the bait so we are going to use the super board as well Okay, so drag one super board out and for the tatami base, for the width, we're going to put 1008 and for the depth, we're going to also put in 1008. Okay, so for the height, 200. Okay, just like that. Alright, once we're done doing the size, okay, we can just click on Zach and slowly position it. Okay, so for here. Okay, we need to know that's a 70. Okay, so this back panel 70. Okay, so we are not going to put this. Let's say 285. Let's say put 0. Okay, yep, 75. Okay, and over here, the distance to the wall should be 1450. Okay, and automatically, this side would be the remaining. Okay. So once I'm done, okay, this is the tatami base. Okay, so now I'm going to create the bait frame. Okay, same thing, I'm going to use this super board. So just drag right onto the base. It will actually auto resize. Okay, so now we're going to change it slightly a little bit bigger. So for my width, it should be 2004. And for my depth, 2003. Okay, for the height, I'm just going to give it an... 80 okay so same thing over here we're going to position it properly so 1150 to the left okay and then over here 525 we're going to put 0 okay 
five two five make sure okay let's check whether is there in any intersection okay so over here one seven two let me see what is this 97 okay correct all right so it's 97 all right so now i have my base okay and i have the frame of my bait okay we can start building the drawers okay so for drawer i'm going to use the universal cabinet okay so universal cabinet i'm going to use this the horizontal one okay so i'm just going to place it right on top here okay just right here all right or maybe just drag it one more time okay so now we can actually resize okay let's move to the front 75 first in front of our back panel okay so now we can start doing the size so for the drawer width i'm going to put 900 for the depth 430 i'm not going to change it and for the height i'm going to put 300 okay elevation let's move it higher 200 okay increase the elevation all right so over here okay we can click on zack okay and move it okay so we can actually see the numbers and we just type in zero to stick onto the bait frame all right so we have one done so now we can copy another one by clicking ctrl v okay ctrl v and let's move it to another side of the bed same thing 54 let's put stick it to the bait frame all right i have two drawers done okay so let's drag a superboard to create a layer okay so just drag on to your drawer okay it will auto resize according to the length all right so for this one i'm going to put the thickness to 32 okay so one more superboard drag it on top here change the size to 32 all right so i have the bait frame okay i have the drawers done i have the back panels done so let's build a open shelf all right a cabinet right over here okay so we're gonna use the universal cabinet okay so just drag onto here okay so now the hike okay let's change the width first. okay 550 for the width okay position it stick it to the wall zero okay so let's say or maybe we put it 650 okay 650 so let's put it zero okay just like that okay so the depth we're going to just remain it 430 and for the hike we are going to put in 2300 all right so 2300 over here we're going to just adjust it onto the ceiling all right once it's done i would like to add in some panels into my cabinet all right so i can just right click we're going to use the add function part okay so select the functional parts material panel class i'm going to use the 16 mm the standard all right so just drag a shelf out okay once you're done dragging one out we can just right click evenly divide it all right number four which means four panels okay so which means that it will array automatically array for you four panels all right so right now i would like to create a swing door over here on the top of these two cabinets all right so we need to click on b bot selection all right hold on to our control button select the top panel bottom panel left panel and right panel right click and then let's generate a swing door all right so we have done generating a swing door just like that easy okay so now we're gonna create the desk okay we're gonna create the desk so for the desk study desk we're gonna use superboard as well okay so just drag our superboard out all right stick it here all right you actually auto detect okay so all you need to do is just change the 
width which is the length okay let's do it again okay so let's change the width oh no i think it's the depth okay so it's 2000 for the depth all right so this would be the study desk our table okay so in this one for the height okay i'm going to change it to 32 for the study table the thickness all right let's drag another super board to create the lake okay so just to create the lake okay so now it will auto detect so what we're going to do is same thing we're going to just resize okay now 650 okay 650 okay then for the depth i'm going to put 75 okay and for the height i'm going to put 500 okay so this one we just put zero and it will just land onto the ground the floor okay so now what we do is just click on zack and adjust it position it okay so which is two four three zero i believe all right so we have done with the study desk all right so for example maybe over here i find it quite empty i would like to add in another shelf another cabinet okay so we can just quickly put this in at the bottom just right at the bottom okay so it will just auto detect and put it right in there all right so basically the tatami bait set has already been done all right the cabinets are done the study desks are done all right so now let's start decorating the room okay so over here i would like to put in a background wall panel all right so i'm going to just go to my cloud and since i've already saved it and favorite it earlier okay so i'll just go to my favorites and click on the tatami all right so this is the one that which i saved earlier so we are going to use this so i'm going to hold on to my space bar and just drag it right out here okay so same just drag it right out here rotate it okay push it up okay and let's check the size okay you can just click on to this information okay so the size right now is 2481 okay so remember our panel the size of the size of our panel is 900 okay the the hike so the entire room okay the wall height is 2008 so 2008 minus 900 should be 1900 okay so now just drag all the way up okay all right so i can just control v to paste another one all right so i have my background wall panel done okay so next thing we can start putting in some models all right some decorations for instance i'm going to just put this here this little bear okay looks like uh looks shy it's covering the eyes okay so just position and adjust a little bit okay then maybe for our study desk i'm gonna put a phone okay and a laptop all right rotate it right facing here okay so for the phone i'm gonna just tilt it slightly a little bit just like that okay right so i have a laptop a phone maybe i need a chair so i just drag my chair out same thing i'm like i would like to tilt this chair a little bit okay just like that all right Alright, so I have a chair done, then maybe right over here, I would like to put in a headphone, okay, where it goes, alright, it's here, 
Okay, a headphone set. Okay, that may be right on this table. I would like to put some books. Okay. Okay, maybe we can just turn it slightly a little bit, just like that. Just tilt it a little bit. Alright, so I have my book, I have some decorations done, okay, so maybe now I can start putting in my bed, okay, so for the bed, I'm going to use this cushion, okay, just put it right here, okay, so we can press on C, okay, we can click on C, and as you can see, there's these squares at the corner, we can actually resize, drag to resize, okay. Okay, so over here, I'm going to just drag it all the way through. Okay, just like that. Alright, so is it even? It looks even. Okay, so once it's done, alright, so I can maybe just put on some pillows over here. Okay, looks really good already. Okay. Next thing I would like to put in is maybe a ceiling fan, okay? A ceiling fan just right over here, just drag it and it will stick right on top. Okay, we can also click onto our 2D and adjust the ceiling fan just like that, okay? So maybe over here, 1700 distance, okay? So over here. I would like to put it slightly at the middle but not at the middle okay so this one maybe is a little bit too low I can just click uh, okay shorter a little bit okay escape to exit click onto it and it will automatically stick onto the ceiling right okay so if it's still a little bit too low maybe you can just drag it slightly more all right okay so now we can put in maybe some uh, hanging likes okay so since I've a chandelier already saved it earlier so we can just put it here same thing I'm going to use this to actually adjust in on my 2d okay it's much more easier to see and adjust okay 175 that's great okay so I'm gonna just hold on to my sheath and copy another one okay just hold on to your sheath and copy Alright, so it's either you press Ctrl V or you press your shift to copy. 1050, let's try. Okay. Okay. Hmm, maybe this fan I would like to move it onto the middle. Okay. Middle of the bed. Alright. So it's not hot actually. Okay. Alright, okay, so over here onto this area, okay, so for this area, maybe I would like to put in this one, okay, so that's like a TV set, right, so this thing is really big, okay, it's a model, okay, so I'm going to just resize quickly, just resize the length to 5000, okay, so 5000 done, okay, so for the height, 2008 all the way to the ceiling okay 2008 and 5000 okay let's see all right it looks great okay so maybe i'm just pretty slightly a little bit smaller 4990 okay 4990 looks good okay Okay, so over here, my door, 
okay so maybe I would like to paint my floor okay so I'm gonna use this material okay which I've saved early okay so let's see what else we can put in all right curtain okay so a curtain so let's try to drag it out slightly a little bit okay so we're gonna just use this gray curtain so remain the colors okay as far as I know in Malaysia a lot of people is actually they look for gray curtains okay so we have a curtain okay so now we need to change the materials of our wood okay the tatami wood okay so we're gonna just click onto the panel okay just choose the color the materials over here let's use a solid wood material okay so we're gonna use we're gonna choose like a slightly beige color okay beige color let's see this color looks good mm, or maybe this color let's see okay la. okay this one wood industry okay so this color will do so right now i'm gonna just right click format painter material painter i'm gonna paint each and every single cabinet right your door don't forget your door okay and don't forget the the base of your tatami right so right now i've painted every single panel okay so the room the walls i'm going to just leave it white okay solid color okay so pretty much done with the room right now and let's head right out to the exterior okay so we can just return just exit from our custom system cabinet all right so now we can just click onto the floor and we can use this scissors vertical split okay no we shouldn't use vertical split we should use the horizontal split all right so click onto the line all right so over here 1000 so 1000 so let me see over here okay so it's thousand two okay so we need thousand five okay as i mentioned earlier we need one thousand five okay so 500 should be the grass okay so we have goals we have grass in our cloud library okay so i'm gonna just drag it so this is my grass and this would be the tiles okay so over here maybe i can put in some bush okay this type of bush okay all right and maybe outside over here for my exterior i can just put in like a really really big tree okay where are you tree Okay, the tree is not coming out. Let's see. Let's see from 2D. Okay. Alright. Where are you, tree? let me see if let's say i put it inside my house yes so you're here right now okay so this is a real really huge ass tree okay so i'm gonna just click how do i move this thing okay it's over here i can't even see the button okay so the tree it's really extremely huge okay i'm just gonna put to my tr go to my 2d okay maybe slightly smaller 
Uh, let's tilt it a little bit. Okay, we can just put it one here. We can control V. Okay, control V. Okay, just put it right here. Same thing if we want to tilt, we can tilt slightly a little bit. Okay, control V. Okay, let's put in one more, just one more. Okay, just like that. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Big trees. Okay. Really, really big. Alright, so we're pretty much done. Okay, so we can start doing our render. Okay, so we're done with the room. Let's give it a one last checking. Okay, so my cabinets, my bed. Alright, let's hop right into the render. Okay, so before that, I would like to save my design. Okay, tatami bedroom design. So just save it. Alright, so I'm going to use the Enhance over here. I'm going to render an Ultra HD. Okay, I'm going to use a 4x3 composition. Okay, so I'm going to set my camera view slightly over here. Okay, so I'd like to see a little bit of my exterior and also the entire tatami set. Okay, which is my desk, including my study desk and also my bed. Alright, so since this thing is actually blocking, we can actually use the camera share button okay so i'm gonna put 2000 if i'm not wrong okay so i'm gonna put 2k okay. okay tilt get the right angle okay move backwards a little bit backwards a little bit okay move to the move to the left All right so now i got the view that i want okay so what am I supposed to do is I'm going to put a natural lighting okay just preset all the natural lighting for me and I'm going to just also use the custom I'm going to add in a fill light board manually okay I'm going to drag it okay it's a bit it's big just like that all right okay we're done okay so we can just so one last thing we want to do okay so click on to our 3d okay so maybe you like to set it over here okay since i believe the sunlight is going to shine in over there okay so we can actually save the perspective take a snapshot okay next we can click on to the advanced features all right and then tick the color correction and also the color overflow control as so, well this may reduce the exposure okay and one last thing before we click on submit make sure we select the outdoor scenery all right so i'm going to use this grassland and then click on submit And there you have it. So this is the tatami bedroom design. Well, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification button. Alright, until next time, see ya.